Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's the Ghetto Gandhi here, hitting you guys with a brand new video. Uh, this video is pretty much my road to the WCQ, the World Championship Qualifier, that is coming up uh, next week in Nashville, Tennessee. So, uh, as this is probably the build that I've been, pro I'm probably going to take this build to the, the event. Um, this is most likely what I'm probably going to. Uh, play with. Uh, the Tellers has always been a deck that I've been playing with since the start of this format or start of the Duelist Alliance format, which is like pretty much 10 months ago. Um, it's the deck I have the most experience with. I had the most fun with this. I mean, I played other decks, but I mean, I just felt the most confident in this deck for some reason. I just love rank fours. I love util utilizing rank fours and such, and I love Trevor. Um, now this build is way different from the one I played in Ohio, but um, pretty much this is, uh, uh, without further ado, this is gonna, this is uh, my Satellite deck. So uh, three to Neb, of course, standard, three Altairs. I don't have Supers yet, but I'm gonna get them uh, probably this weekend. Um, two Uncles and two Vegas. I've been liking this ratio for a while now. It's really good. Uh, I got the one super. But uh, I've t played this ratio at Ohio and it worked out pretty well. Um, and then the one that main deck Thunder King. Uh, the main deck Thunder King. I mean, I didn't see against Necros in Ohio, but it's still pretty good against them. Um, especially since I now play Laval Chain in my extra deck, which I'll explain later. Um, he was really good, especially in the mirror match, and uh, kind of against BA. I did summon it against BA for some reason. I negated his Dante, but I mean, it, it's still good in every other, against in other situations as well. Uh, but that's it for the monsters, a really low monster count. I did, I did, in Ohio, I played Valor, uh, but that was just for Ohio because of Necros and stuff. But uh, now since BA are getting popular again, I think it's better off in my side deck. So uh, as for my spells, I'm going to play. I'm playing through Rotas, of course. That's, can't explain it. Oh, they're foreign. Haha, <laughs> they're foreign. I can't. Yeah. Um, um, I didn't play these in Ohio, but I will definitely play them for this event. Uh, three Upstart Goblins. Um, I definitely want to... Uh, not break this event. I really want to do well at this event. And so I'm trying my best to keep my build consistent. I want to see the best optimal hands. So I think Upstart pretty much guarantees that. Um, also, like, Upstart is pretty much any card in your deck. So, I mean, it's just really good. Playing 37 cards is just generally pretty good. Along with Upstart, I'm going to be playing... I'm going to be playing two Duality. I played two Dualities at... Uh, Ohio and it worked out pretty well. I just wish uh, I, my build was still not consistent enough as I thought it would be. That's why I played the upstarts. But yeah, up, dualities as well, which is almost any card in your deck as well. But it stops you from special summoning, which is kind of a kind of hinders you from doing any big plays on your first turn. But still really good. Like these cards, pretty much essentially just stop you from bricking, and it can grab you any trap from your deck, almost. Um, other spells, double MST. I didn't play MST in Ohio. I played Galaxy Cyclone instead, which was, uh, stupid. That card, that just sucks. <laughs> I was just forcing myself to blind MST with that card. I don't know why I really played it. Uh, I, like, in Ohio, like, I took, I just said, fuck it, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have big balls, and, like, I just wasn't gonna accept the fact to lose to game one to Cleefort. Uh, especially with them playing three, lose a turn and such, and I just side in my answers. But um, I still won my game one against Cleefort, surprisingly. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be playing MSTs for this event. Um, one Raigeki and one Soul Charge. Uh, as of my current out to Gen Lock, this is really it. In Ohio, I played like Raigeki and Dark Hole. I didn't really like Dark Hole that much. But. Uh, but yeah, my builds. This build's definitely gonna change, uh, before the event. Just probably maybe a card, maybe one or two cards, maybe. 
But yeah, Soul Charge is good, of course. Um, trap lineup. Uh, I play three alphas. They're German, yay. Um, three alphas, of course. It was MVP in Ohio. <laughs> by, by, well, yeah. um, three calls, obvious. Three fiendish. Uh, this is the part of the trap line that will never change. That will never change. My bad. I just really been loving this part. Um, two breakthrough skills. I love breakthrough skills. It's so good. Just the extra effect negation is just handy. Um, and I'm gonna need it definitely in Ohio. Uh, I definitely liked it in Ohio. Um, and probably for Nats too. Um, they were mind crushes. I didn't play mind crush in Ohio. I sided it. Uh, I just feel like Mind Crush is really mediocre, and like uh, even side decking them in, them in, they weren't even that great. And the games that I saw them, I was gonna win them anyway. And like uh, one of my good friends, Jesus, told me like Mind Crush is best to play at three, or you just don't really play it at all. And like uh, he's kind of right. I, it's a card you want to see multiples in, and like it, it kind of sets you up for getting Trish. I mean, even if you have the Mind Crush. Like, um, it, it, you, you still have to have, you have to f have a card in your hand, and, like, I just didn't want to do that. Um, but yeah, double breakthrough, gonna be really good. Um, double D prison, I liked it in Ohio, I still like it, i just rather play this over Mirror Force, like, Banishing is just ten times better right now, so. Uh, one of one vanities. This won me an entire game against Necros, which was pretty cool. But yeah, the one vanities, one torrential. This card is really good too, cause nobody really plays around it, since especially since it's a one of, one warning, and then I played one bottomless. Um, I think I might cut bottomless for Book of Moon, cause since BA is back, it can kind of hinder them as well. And Book of Moon is just it's another gen out, which I need to run. A lot more if, counting torrential i probably have like two gen outs but like uh it'd be an extra gen out it, it's a good card offensively and defensively so that's why i like book of moon so i don't know i might cut this i might but um yeah but that's the main deck that 40 uh onto the extra deck uh the standard five satellar knights obviously the one delta rose uh double trevor One's German, that's nice. Uh, one Diamond. Uh, one um, Ptolemus. Uh, this is essential, this is key. Diamond's gonna be coming really handy against BA. Uh, even Shadals if I seen him. I didn't play any Shadals at Ohio. Um, and this is really good, makes a Altair into Diamond pretty much without having to go Trevor before you have to use Trevor and then uh, go Diamond, but this is really good. Um, I don't play Pallades or anything like that. I don't think it's worth it to play it, um, but yeah, this is good. Diamond. And I summoned against Necros a few times. Um, yeah, I mean, just as a big beater, plus they can't add back Unicorn with it. But yeah, that's that's the standard to Teller Knights. Um, uh, one Castell is good. Uh, one Dweller, Exiton, good against Cleefort. Um, I didn't play this. I haven't played this card since the beginning of Duelist Alliance, but I'm now definitely playing this card, Lavalva Chain. The reason I'm playing Lavalva Chain is like, like I said, I don't want to brick this event. I want the best optimal hand, and I don't want to brick. I just want consistency. So I just feel like Lavalva Chain just had, like those hands where you have like Vega Altair, like I don't want to lose because of that. Like I don't even like Sukiyomi because you like, you never know what you're going to draw. If you have like a Call of the Haunted maybe, I guess that's good, but still you never know what you're going to draw with Sukiyomi. At, at least with this you know what you're getting. And since I'm playing Upstart, you can do some cool plays where you can stack a card on top and upstart it. So I'm definitely going to play Lavalva Chain this event. Um, Omega, I've always liked this card ever since I put it back in in Fort Lauderdale, and I've never took it out since. It's always has been a good card, uh, good against traps, any other deck, near match as well. So this is a really good card. It also protects diamond, which is good. Um, 
Number 86, he's so good. I summoned him three times uh, in Ohio. And against BA, I summoned it with like five materials, which was so cool. And I won because of it. Um, but yeah, this card is going to be, hopefully going to be my MVP in Nats, hopefully. Um, of course, the Rhapsody, good, uh, Necros, that's all I got to say. Um, the Emerald. And uh, I didn't play this in Ohio, but I'm probably going to test it out now. Uh, Diamond Direwolf. Uh, just to get rid of cards like Decree and such. Um, other annoying guards to get off the field and like um, hit scouts and such. Instead of having to shuffle it back with like, uh, what's it called? Castell. So I feel like this is good. And against Shadals, if you don't have the cast, can't go into Castell. Uh, you can just pop the Shadal fusion. Or pop the Shadal monster and just... Uh, so they can't shut off you. I mean, it, it has its uses, like, especially against cards like Decree and such. Like, I really like them. Um, last but not least, Karen Gorgon. I didn't play this for a while, but I'm deciding to put it back in. Because, like, I have key floodgates in my deck. Well, not really. I mean, I have key cards in my deck, like Vandy's. And I have floodgates in my extra deck. So this can really help against that. And, like, Karen Gorgon is just a really good card overall. Um, I just want to maximize utility out of my extra deck so I can just have the best possible cards to go into. Um, so that's why I decided to put them back in. Um, but that's it for the extra deck. Uh, side deck is still under some processing at the moment, but I'll just go through it anyway. Um, two maxis. I did not play these at Ohio at all. I wish I did. I against... I mean, besides Cleaford against any other matchup, it would have been I really side these in against everything else. Um, but I just really wish I had these against in against the mirror match and when I played Satellers, played against Satellers a lot. So I wish I had these, but I'm definitely gonna play these for this event, especially since BA is back. <laughs> um, double Veilers. I was main decking this in Ohio. It was pretty good, especially against Necross, but um. Probably just gonna side deck them for this event. Um, that's it. Uh, the one, the third space, obvious. And then this, the traps. Uh, this is still under construction. Recently, I decided to try to bunks, double wiretap, um, double anti spell, double shadow mirror, and double fairy wind. Um, anti spell is really good against Cleave Fort. It pretty much won me my match against Cleave Fort in Ohio. Um, and it won me previous matches against playing Cleefort, uh, like, playing Cleefort the entire format ago when I sided this, and it's just really good against Cleefort, that's all I gotta say. I mean, against Necros, it's okay, I guess. Um, it got ice-handed, but, um, against Cleefort, I won because of this, so, uh, this is definitely good. Um, Fairy wins. Like I said, Clee Fort, all their floodgates, lose one turns, their pendulum scales, uh, this is just good. This is just really good. Um, I don't know, I might cut it. I'm not sure. I might cut one. I was thinking about cutting one because there are other cards I want to side deck. Um, wiretaps, anything that plays heavy traps, uh, Clee Fort, Mirror Match, Burning Abyss. That's especially Burning Abyss now that they play a lot more traps. I've want to side these in because it's just so good i don't want to get fiends grieving because fiends grieving is a really annoying card um double shadow mirror of course it's been there for a while so um i haven't tested these out but i want to play debunks i feel like it's just really good uh, especially against ice hands fire hands uh burning abyss stuff um even the necros monsters since they activate in hand um so yeah, uh, these are cards I possibly do want to side. I did side these in Ohio. Like I sided one of this and two of these. Um, but uh, I just, I just wanted to see what the side looked like, and I just, I just, I don't know. I feel like I want to. I need to side these. Um, I mean, it's good against Infernoids, Ritual Beasts. Good against Necros as well. Uh, guarantees me not getting trished. 
But um, I feel like I need to find room for these, definitely. I don't know what I would take out. If anything, people might say the debunks. I might take out a debunk or two, maybe. Um, I might cut a fairy one, maybe a cut a veiler, I'm not sure. Uh, as long with chaos trap holes, I definitely want to side this as well. I still like it. Uh, it's, it will be good against BA, Banish Adante, uh, even Shadals. I mean, if they're still there. Um, the mirror match, even that cross, Spanish Danko, of course, uh, Manju, Senjus. Uh, if anything, I might have room for just one, and I'll be fine with just one. Um, but Iron Walls, I definitely want to find room for Iron Walls. But um, that's it for my possible deck, po possible deck list. Probably the probably the build I might be taking to the World Championship qualifier. Um, but yeah, shout out to the Zane token. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This uh, is the Ghetto Gandhi signing out, and I will hope, hopefully, we'll see you guys at Nat. So if you guys see me, give me, talk to me, come holler at me. I'm an easygoing person. I'm easy to talk to. Uh, you can hang out with me and my clique. So um, yeah, and uh, I definitely don't want to play on this goddamn mat. <laughs> I should have got rid of this mat. I need a spell grounds because I look like a scrub. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Peace out.